Hey everybody, Ronaldo Waffman here again, and this is going to be part two of building an Arceus Media Server. One of the things that I did not talk about in the last video when I talked about computer parts was the capture cards, and I'll cover that later on. Uh, but for now, this is the graphics card we're going to use. Right away, you can tell this is not going to fit in here, right? Uh, this is one of the rack mount type cases, and there are bigger cases out there. But I like this one. It fits in most DJ coffins. In this case, it's not going to fit in this one. So all we need to do, let's just go ahead and bring that out here. This is a hard drive space station, right? We're not going to have multiple hard drives in here. So all we need to do is just take this bottom part out. We're going to move the hard drive over here. And the motherboard is easily going to fit on this side here But when we take this part out. Yes, we could sit there and tin snip that off, but I can tell you from experience, we do not need this bottom part because we're not going to have multiple drives. So let's get to work. We're going to take this off and then we're going to take out the old motherboard that's in there. All right, so motherboard's out. If this is a used case, make sure you dust everything out. And there will be some dust that the blower won't get, so you just get that. At this point, you should have an anti-static band. If you do not have an anti-static band, I cannot find mine. Just make sure you touch something and ground yourself out beforehand, especially in your low humidity area. First thing we're going to do is we are going to pop in the new motherboard. This guy's going to come out. We're going to put this guy in. I really like how it looked. They made it all nice and cushy. All right, here we go. Now, first thing is I just want to make sure this aligns itself properly. So there's one there. Uh, let's see. Yep, we should be good. Okay, so now that we've got this all put together, we're going to go ahead and prep in the CPU. So we're just going to open that up. We'll remove this part right here. Now, some of these come with thermal paste. If yours does not come with thermal paste, you're gonna need to buy some. Do not skimp out on thermal paste, please, for the love of God. Especially with quality. But most of these already have them, so we'll find out. Now, in this case, I'm using the stock cooling that Intel provides. It's more than plenty for what I need and you'll see that it already has a thermal paste in there. So lovely. And now let's grab our processor. Again, make sure you touch a metal surface beforehand to make sure that you are not full of static. That is a great way to kill a processor. Now, one of the nice things about this, the, the newer sockets is there's, there's no guesswork. With the old sockets, they really could have fit, or the old processors, like way back in the day, they really could have fit any way and you really could have caused some damage. In this case, they are notched. All right. My only complaint about this particular style of socket is that they use these plastic things and, and I hate them. I hate them so much. So you're probably gonna watch me struggle with this for a minute. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the fan in. One of the really important things regarding your cooling is as far as which position to put it is find where your fan is. So in this case, this is the CPU fan socket. If I put it there, it's gonna be really tight. So I'm probably gonna have my fan. Let's see, let me pull this cable out first. So I want to keep the wiring as clean as possible. I'm not, I'm not an expert when it comes to computer wiring, so I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Uh, but I will tell you that you really want to plan ahead. So in this case, if I have it like this, right, it's going to be really, really tight. I'm, I actually don't like that. So I'm going to have it like this. It's going to give me a little bit of slack, but that's fine. So we're going to have it sit there. I'm on. Push in. Push in, push in, uh, see what I mean? Look at that, two of them came out. There we go. Okay, apparently this was already in there. See, this is why I hate these things. There, now we're in. Apparently they were already locked in, ready to go. 
I was not aware of that. That's a first for me there. <laughs> All right, and we're good. Uh, at this point, we can go ahead and do the ram. So let's open these guys up. Don't throw any boxes away either because you want to make sure that you're good to go. Now with this motherboard, there is not a specific, uh, actually, yes, there is. Never mind, they're right there. The first one, there wasn't a specific order. This one has one, two, three, and four, and it's showing you. So in this case, we're going to do one. And remember, just with RAM, it's always best practices to do it in pairs. And according to this, two is the other gray one. Okay, that was easy. Uh, now we have the power supply and we have our graphics and gaming card, or capture cards, excuse me. Now in this case, this is the primary uh, PCI-16, so we are gonna go ahead and plug the graphics card on here. Now one of the things that I do not like about this particular card is that it does not have, um, I gotta open that up, it does not have a PCI 16 or PCI cable, so you need to have one, or you need to have a power supply that has that built in. That's what I like about that modular power supply I was just telling you about. It does have that built in. This card will eat up two slots there, in case you can't tell, but it won't be too bad. We're not going to be using all of it. Now, on the bottom side here are the SATA ports. We want to go ahead and before we lock that card in, we want to make sure that there's no particular order or pre uh, preference for the SATA ports. In this case, I see four and then I see another two and then I see another four by themselves and then I see a couple little micro ones. So we are going to go ahead and plug these into there. So we got one for a hard drive and we'll have one for our CD drive. The reason I obviously I'm doing that now is because once the card's locked in, it's going to be a lot more difficult to get to. So we've got that there. All right, and we're set. Let's go ahead and lock the graphics card in. And before we go any further, we need to make sure that we have enough room to modify this case. So we're going to grab the hard drive area okay I'm just gonna kind of put it over and what I can see here is that it should fit right where that hard drive is I mean right on it too so we'll have just enough room okay now let's talk about the video capture cards and putting them in and uh, we'll just kind of continue on from there. So tune into the next video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.